everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Sideways. Now, as you can see, his alternate mode is an Audi R8. Uh, he didn't do much in the movie, he got sliced in half in this, ve in this vehicle mode. But I sideswipe because, as you know, sideswipe is sideways, sideway, sideswipe is sideways as enemy. And anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool car. Um, his primary colors are silver, dark silver. There is another variant of this, which is much, li much lighter. There is a stress crack on on this window, this windshield, right there. You can see it, uh, right there, where my finger was pointing at. Uh, it's just, uh, just because it was in packaging in robot mode for some reason. It comes packaged in this vehicle mode, so yeah. Um, it rolls fairly well, has clear front lights, uh, translucent red uh, windshields, windshield windows, the back. There's even like a detailed like engine on the on the back because, as you know, the trunk's in the front and the engine's in the back. So it's pretty good. People have been speculating that this would be Barricade's reformat. No, it isn't. Uh, Sideways and Barricade are different characters, and if you've seen, well, I didn't mention Sideways in both my Movie Barricade and Revenge of the Fallen Interrogator Barricade video, so yeah. So, anyways, that so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Vehicle Commode. Other details he has are silver rims, uh, black has some red painted, and that's pretty much it. Um, just the transformation, which is okay, very similar to barricades. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're take the back and lift it up, detach the sides, and fold them down. These become the legs, back halves, like that. Ugh. Like, like this. Then you want to take this panel here, rotate it, uh, extend it back. There's a little hole right there, and there's a peg on the inside you won't be able to see. But you're supposed to rotate it inwards, and it's supposed to peg into place. So, pegs on pretty fine, no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, fold this little knee flap down, and flip up his feet. There is a little minor complaint I have with, about the feet for sideways, and I'll explain that once we get onto the actual, once again, to robot mode. That's the lower half. Now, the upper half, now, it ha kind of has an automorph feature. Uh, push the grill. Uh, see if I can get this into focus here. Push the grill, and the stomach folds down, and the front wheels fold in which is pretty good anyways untab um, untab doors from the uh, headlights and they become the arms like that fold them out do that and get the arms straightened out like this uh, do the same with this one Um, we'll get onto the things in robot mode. For the red, and then you want to untab the windshield like that, fold it down, and rotate it. And then so there's a little, there's a little tab, and there's a little slot in there, and just to peg it precisely at that spot. And there you go. Fold up the uh, the backpack up like this. Fold down his head, lift up these panels, uh, fold up his wings, like this, uh, tab it into place, and then just fold this back against, and that's pretty much it. That is sideways in robot mode. Um, head rotates, arms go full 360, in and out. Uh, when you bend there at the elbow, uh, there's some gears inside his arms that will rotate, which is pretty good. Uh, and there's gear on the side as well. 
uh, bends, rotates, has no wrist articulation, has a silver hand, black hand, has a little buzz saw, which does spin pretty good. Uh, no waist articulation, legs forward and back, in and out, uh, bend at the knee, uh, rotate slightly, feet are posable. Now, my only complaint, and this is with some YouTubers, uh, the feet are tiny, much similar to Universe Galvatron, though I didn't mention it. His feet are tiny, I like the knee flats, I like the crotch, which is on fire, <laughs> and overall, yeah, the wings are a little bit tall. He also has a little bit of a inappropriate inappropriate gimmick. That is, if you take the headlights right here, they extend, and he has pulsable breasts. Yeah, I said that, pulsable breasts. Now, his gender is male, not female. Why is he doing that? I don't know. But anyways, you can pose him however you wish. Uh, but anyways, that's just, that's clearly not the final design. That That's just for silliness. And I, I, I don't know why Hasbro did this, but... Well, I, I guess they did it just so they would get the, uh, you know, the doors to open when you transform them and, you know, back. Another complaint I have is that he doesn't have the Audi logo on him, which is a shame. Um, if you remember from the movie and the little brief scene from the video game, or, or the, if you watched the trailer before the game was released, he had the logo. Yeah. So that's just a few complaints there. Despite this, um, I'm going to say recommended because these wings may snap off due to its fragileness, much similar to Dead End slash Nightbeat's hands being brittle. Kind of kind of brittle in terms of uh, stressness, you know, because of the stress marks and the stress cracks. So yeah, sideways, recommended, not bad figure, and uh, yeah, he's a recommended purchase. If you find the other variant, that's okay. If you get the uh, the dead end, the deluxe dead end repaint and remold, which is pretty nice. Uh, difference with the this is that he has a remolded head. Head design looks okay, looks barricade-ish, barricade-esque. So yeah, that's my review of Sideways, and I'll see you in the next uh, video. I have two videos to do today, and yeah, so that's my review of Side Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Sideways, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.